Hello Viri users, Alex here, your Viri guide, and today we're going to do something very cool. I found a nice concept of Philip Stark making uh, really nice flat line swim pools, and I thought I'm going to do it within my project. As you can see here, I already pre-rendered the swim pool to be answered, and just so you understand what doing, he kind of doesn't have those edges, so it's all flat, really nice horizon line swim pools and uh, some of them you can put uh, even chairs in the water so we have one uh, one of his hotels uh, Delano in Miami uh, which we're gonna have by the way a field trip to this hotel next week during our workshop so I'm gonna go and make a lot of videos and photos of that uh, cool hotel but you can see here that his uh, beach resort got this really nice swim pool that uh, doesn't have any edges and the water just falling off which I found pretty cool but uh, in order to get really in detail of that construction we gotta go and see and check it out that's gonna be next week in the meantime I went and did some photos of my swim pool <laughs> which is not that uh, amazing as as you can see here a lot of dirt in my swim pool and that that's why uh, we have a lot of volume light because it's actually not so clean uh, the water is not that clean so it's not that transparent but generally speaking I just wanted to get the idea of how water looks and uh, the ripples that we get here and uh, let's go and see how we can do it in 3ds max and render with v-ray all right so first thing first we got I have to create the geometry so I'm gonna take my swim pool I'm going to press alt Q and isolate it T Go to the top view and on the top view I'm going to make a box. And this box needs to be needs to have a lot of segments. So F3, F going to the side view. I'm gonna bring it just above just a little bit above my uh, my swim pool so the water is going to be on top all right I already made the construction and I kind of studied it a little bit to make it to make it work you gotta have some lines around the swim pool so your water will run through but we'll get to the the geometry later Right now, let's just concentrate on creating realistic water. So I'm going to put a lot of length, segments, and uh, let's see. So it will be quadratic, something like this. Could work fine. All right, F. And uh, now let's call it water. And let's exclude this so we will not forget because we're using clay so let's exclude our water oops water actually with one t all right now we're gonna add some noise to it noise and um, let's go with the little seeds here p so we'll see what we're actually doing here fractal and let's increase this a little bit and the Z let's get out of this selection and check out our pool so we get a little ripple on that if we go a little higher with the Z we need to make it a little bit more aggressive a little bit more depth to it so it looks nice all right just don't overdo it because uh, Swim pools are much less sea-like, so 
Now after we've done this, we can go ahead and apply a texture to our... So let's click on this V-Ray material, it's a shortcut. I'm going to create a new material, call it water. And let's give it a kind of cyan color and refraction, we want to refract a little bit also on the sign line it's more or less the color that I want to have here and um, let's reduce the reflection glossiness so we're going to have a little bit blurry uh, results here and um, let's do the sub divs pretty high I like to give it a clean result so 256 that's uh, that's related our rendering optimization I can allow my surfaces to be that high and let's see what else we've got here um, IOR 1.3 and that's about it I think right we just need to give refraction not all the way refracted but pretty reflected and of course fog color we need to do an exit of a fog color so i like giving it this is the color that's going to be inside our swim pool and in order to see it we have to give it 0 0.01 and in the bump i'm going to throw this vortex texture right here reduce the bump a little bit and increase the blur amount because i still want it to be blurry and probably more reflective so the amount of ior is going to be three so it's going to be so it's going to be really reflective all right let's apply it to our swim pool here and uh, let's adjust our map so we're gonna bring up the reflection again and we're gonna go inside our water tax and fix it by applying UVW map to our swim pool box and let's go select our gizmo rotate it a little bit something like this Could work nice all right so just make sure it's a little blurry it's not that sharp so you will not get very sharp and abrupt lines you're gonna you're gonna get nice ripple effect of water by giving a blur to your bumps all right uh, let's go to the side view and adjust this a little bit editable poly I'm gonna select my vertices and pull this a little bit so it will match my pools you can see the water covers completely this whole thing maybe it's a little bit too big so I'm gonna reduce that that's nice this is also here nice all right so camera 2 and we can go and exit and I know most of you guys do affect shadows so the light will go through in my uh, if we want to use caustics later I'm not gonna use that so uh, before I turn on the, the caustics let's just make a test render and see what we got I'm gonna click here select region my swim pool and render by the way I'm going to save open XR and I'm gonna put uh, inverse gamma to it point four five five so I'll be able to 
have the same image in Photoshop when I'm gonna open it. All right, so let's click render and uh, override this previous render and see how this goes, how our swim pool looks. Uh, by the way, I have just, you know, basic lights here. All right, so the render is done and uh, the water looks pretty decent from the first look. And um, I mean, we get the nice ripple and we got nice fade of fade effect of lights and everything. And we got nice reflections, but it's not that realistic for those that actually pay attention and know how water reacts. So why don't we just go and activate our caustics. I'm using pretty much default stuff, only I reduce the maximum photons amount to be 10, so it will render a little bit faster. But you can increase the multiplier to have more uh, intensity in your caustics. We're not gonna get a lot of them because we don't get strong ripples, but um, and caustics always works better with uh, direct sun or direct lighting. But uh, let's just activate it and leave it as it is and make a small render and see how it goes. Um, just override this previous image and we will compare both of those. Uh, by the way, more detailed explanation about caustics and examples we're going to do during our exterior training starting next week. All right, it took a while to render this, but the result is much, uh, much more realistic in my opinion. The swim pool reads much better uh, as, as, as a swim pool as water, and it got the surface underneath that looks much, much better now with water. This one just doesn't, doesn't read, doesn't look good as as it should. Uh, we can try some exposure and some hue saturation corrections just to see how this water reacts after a little post-production. So we're going to reduce a little bit the the bump and the ripple here because this is obviously a little bit too much. I'm going to go to my noise here. Oops, noise. I'm going to reduce the Z probably below 1.5.6 something like that okay but all of those all the rest of the ripples can stay the same okay so let's go and uh, render a bigger resolution 2400 just to see how this stuff actually working and I'm gonna put uh, more quality to it so i'm gonna activate my anti-aliasing filter and i'm going to put here 26 and maybe a little bit better more passes and pre-filter on the light cache all the rest is gonna stay the same all right so let's render and see how this goes all right, so the render is done. It took about two hours and 30 minutes and 57 seconds. And uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, you can use some of the curves here to adjust it a little bit and get more of a contrast. And uh, maybe fix a little bit the exposure here and the contrast, something like that. You can also play with the uh, here saturation, maybe reduce a little bit the saturation here and fix a little the color balance. Same stuff you can do with Photoshop basically. Um, as you know I like saving uh, open XRs that will give us a really uh, good depth. So uh, while working with the open XR you can't do much uh, of those adjustments because it's uh, most of them working on the 32-bit channels here but uh, generally speaking you can you can fix the exposure and you can get you know your image to the really desired result so generally speaking it's pretty close to what 
I have uh, took pictures of my pool, only my swim pool is very dirty after a long day with all the kids and you know, they rather do their stuff in the swim pool, so we get a lot of dirt, this is why we can see the light, but cleaner pools, um, cleaner pools are gonna have much better much better result, much cleaner water, but we're getting that, you can see we get a little bit of acoustics, throwing a greenish light here upon this and it's all been illuminated, probably with more ripple result we get a lot of acoustics going on or if we get more of uh, direct uh, hits from light that we can create and throw a little bit more caustics in the air, but generally speaking I like this result, I like this swim pool. And, um, I can start working and doing, uh, you know, adding more textures and doing more post work. All right. So more examples of this swim pool can be found in our upcoming training V-Ray exterior workshop with all the over the shoulder videos that I'm going to produce and uh, with winners, prizes and a lot of cool stuff. So go check it out. We're starting next week. There's a link below this video. Hope to see you with us. This is Alex, your V-Ray guy. Talk soon. Ciao.